If you wonder, what are the skills that you need to cook most of the German dishes? That's the video to watch. The first thing to know if you want to cook German food is how to make a broth or a broth braised soup. There are a few tricks that we use here in Germany to make the broth taste even better. One of it is to fry the vegetables before adding the water to the pot. Whether you make a vegetable, beef or chicken broth, you also need some spices. In Germany, we use bay leaf, allspice, pepper or juniper berries to enhance the flavor. If you also have access to bone marrow, that would be something to add. Next skill, what you should learn is how to make a gravy. German gravies and many other sauces are roux based. For the roux, you need butter and flour. The proportions in grams are very easy. So when you use 30 gram butter, you need 30 gram of flour and then also 300 gram of broth or other liquid. Then you mix it all very well and adjust the consistency to your liking. The gravy is better when you add also pan dripping, so please uh, don't forget uh, to add the fat as well as the juices after, for example, roasting or cooking meat. In this video, I was talking about how to make ahead uh, German Christmas gravies, and in this one, how to make schnitzel gravies. So you can watch those ones next if you need some inspiration. And when talking about gravies, it's also very good to know how to thicken one. In Germany, we like using just a plain flour and some water. Those are mixed in a small cup, or at least that's how my grandmother did it. You just make sure that there are no lumps and then you can add it to a gravy or to the sauce. In this case, I am actually adding it to thicken the German cream spinach. Also, most of the Germans know how to pick potatoes. So the rules are easy. In Germany, we use three main types of potatoes. Waxy, they remain firm when cooked, so they are perfect for potato salads, and also pan-fried potatoes. We have primarily waxy potatoes, and they are firm and a little starchy, so perfect for making uh, roast potatoes fries, potato pancakes, but also pan-fried potatoes as well. Then we've got starchy potatoes and those contain the most starch. Therefore, they easily fall apart. Perfect for mashed potatoes and potato dumplings. I am pretty sure that you can find those potato types also in your country. Just Google how they're called. Other thing to know is how to make dumplings. German dumplings are very versatile. They are a um, perfect addition to a soup and often served as a side dish. In Germany, we make dumplings with many different ingredients. We have meat, semolina, potato, bread and flour placed dumplings. The German dumplings are always prepared in a pot with a salty water. And there are two things to remember here. First of all, the water should not even be simmering. So if you have a stove top with numbers from 1 to 9, the setting should be 1 or 2. The second thing to remember is that you never close the pot with a lid. Another important skill is to know how to sear. Searing is a cooking technique I use to brown the surface of an ingredient at high heat. Searing um, doesn't cook the interior of the food, but creates a flavorful crust on the outside. Here in Germany, this technique is used for making beefsteaks or pork medallions. First thing to remember is to pat dry uh, the food with a paper towels and also use the heavy bottom pan such as cast iron as it retains and distributes the heat evenly. You need to allow the pan to get really hot before you add the oil and the meat. And also at that point, you need to use the oil that can be heated to high temperatures. So not butter and not olive oil. It's better to let the food sear without moving um, for a few minutes. This allows a crust to form. Next thing to remember is how to braise. Braising is searing food at a high heat and then slow cooking it in a liquid. And this method is used to cook cabbage rolls, beef rolls, goulash and roasts. There are a few tips to braise like a pro. You need to sear the ingredients from all the sides until they develop a golden brown 
crust. And this step adds flavor and color to the dish. In Gemini, we love using broth and wine as a liquid. We also don't rush the process because braising can take often up to three hours, depending on the size and the thickness of the ingredient. The next thing to know is how to roast. Roasting is a dry heat cooking method and in Germany we use it to prepare larger pieces of meat like duck, goose or even beef or pork roasts. Depending on what you are roasting, you might use a roasting pan with a rack or a simple baking sheet. If you use the rack, that allows the air to circulate around the food, which helps it to cook more evenly and allows the excess fat to drip away. I use always a rack to cook a bird. You can also baste meats uh, with their juices or marinate during roasting process to add flavor and moisture. <laughs> Busting is typically done every 20 to 30 minutes. The next thing to know is how to saute. Sauteing is a very quick cooking uh, technique that involves cooking a small pieces of meat in a hot pan. There are few German dishes with sauté meat like Geschnitzeltes or this wonderful curry chicken with a pineapple. Here you need to remember to not overcrowd the pan. You also need to flip uh, the pieces over when they are nicely browned onto one side. To be an expert in cooking German, you also need to know how to bread, whether it's a schnitzel, sausages or vegetables for a vegetable schnitzel. You need to prepare Panierstrasse, or this is at least what we call it here in Germany. For this, you need three plates. One with flour, one with egg with, and salt, and one with breadcrumbs. The whole thing is pretty messy and you will definitely get your hands dirty. But hey, what would you need to do to make the food taste even better, right? The next thing to know is how to prepare sausages. One of you bought a vice wurst and grilled it. I was speechless. Guys, you really need to learn how to prepare German sausages or how to prepare them properly. But keeping things short, if you have a parboiled German sausage, those usually are prepared in the pot with a hot and salty water. The water shouldn't be even simmering. Here I don't have a good news. You also know how to bake. In Germany, most of the cakes, rolls and sweet rolls are made from yeast dough, short crust or a dough that is very similar to sponge. So if you know how to use the scale and how to not kill the yeast, you're good to go. And the last skill you need to have is to be patient, especially when pouring the Weizen into the glass. Prost. Did I actually forget about something? Hmm. If I did, let me know in the comments down below.